Isn't the kama originally a farm tool? So this is it. But the tool is to use it as a tool. This is what it is. So, it's a tool. 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 And welcome to Let's Ask Six and Say. I love to be your host, Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say, on the Yoshiko Nikita Shimas. I'm so happy to be here. 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 Out of the various weapons that we train in Kobudo, Asayama Ishiden Ryu, today, Six and Say will teach us the history and skills of the Kama, the Japanese sickle. Through demonstrating four Kama Kata, Six Sense will explain the three biggest strengths and characteristics of the Kama. Especially the final kata is so fast that it's impossible to understand what happened without exclamation. So I hope you can watch till the end to find out. So then, let's get started. First of all, let's learn more about the Kama itself. Isn't the Kama originally a farm tool? So this is it. Yes. But it's used in the war. 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 山の中進むときにこう邪魔な枝を払ったりね、いろんな使い方します。The kama is believed to have been used especially by the low-rank samurai. Many low-rank samurai were very poor, so oftentimes they had to grow their own crops. And such samurai were used to handling the farm tool, the kama, more than the katana because they didn't have much time to train. Or because they sometimes sold their katana away for money. But the kama was not only powerful as a weapon, but was also a very useful tool on the battlefield. The kama skills of Asayama Ishidendu that were mainly trained by low rank samurai began to be trained by everyone after the major restoration or westernization in order to preserve the skills after elimination of the samurai class. By the way, there is a rule for the kama used in our ryuha. The toryu is the length of the length of the length. あっていうのはもう決まりがあって、で刃渡りが九寸と、これがあの決まりなんですね。So the length of the handle is very close to an average size wakizashi. Then finally, let's start watching the actual fighting techniques of the kama. That was a rather fast kata. Let's ask Six and Say about the details. The opponent will aim for your head, so you first parry the attack with the back of the kama. If you swing the kama like a katana, you'll be hitting the opponent's wrists with the wooden handle. This is because the direction of the blade is different. The image is not cutting with the kama, but more of dropping the kama against the wrists. So we need to understand the operation of the katana and kama are completely different. Handling the kama requires even more dexterity than the katana. Even if it looks simple, there's a lot you need to do in your tenouchi palm. This time, there were more movements, and Tsukada-san was pressed down to the floor. What did Six-sensei do? 
、だこの動きなんですでこの時に鎌の背で裏ごてをバーンとぶたたくんですよああなるほどそう裏ごてをバーンとぶたたくんですよああなるほどでそうしておいて返すで左を進めてコテ取ってシコロにかけるとうわ、ね、でここをけこみながらこれを下にそうハッとバーンとこうやってこれを下にそうハッとバーンとこうやって This is actually a technique to capture the enemy alive. This is why you hit the wrist with the back of your kama and hook the neck so he doesn't get away, but you don't cut him. We once introduced the technique of the wakizashi for capturing someone alive inside a castle. However, there were, of course, occasions when you needed to capture someone on the battlefield, too. This technique would be used in such situations. If you thought this kata seems familiar, you've been watching our channel a lot. Thank you. Yes, we introduced something similar when we talked about the benefits of swinging katana with one hand. This is the hangetsu stance, where you put your head, shoulder, knee, and toes in one line and lure the enemy to attack your head. But by using the kama, this kata becomes an advanced version. The reach is different. 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 はい、で今度はこれにさっきの理を使っても届かないそう誘っておいて今度は太刀を払うんですで太刀を払って体を入れ替えるすと首へ入れたすと首へ入れた With the katana, just by bringing your head and hand up, you could reach the opponent's wrist and the battle would have been over But the kama is too short, so you need to parry the opponent's katana and also switch your legs at the same time to make it work Doing all of these movements accurately at the same time is not as easy as Six and Say makes it look. However, there is actually one major benefit of using the Kama for this kata. And here, I'm just doing this. But I'm doing this. This is the way I'm doing it. 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 So, although the operation of your body is slightly more difficult, you can see that how the Kama can reach the opponent faster is a great strength. In a real battle, even just a few centimeters of reaching your enemy quicker would be a huge advantage. I couldn't see what happened. That was so fast. The unique skills of Maku in Asami Shinryu mean to wind away your opponent's weapon. But what most people try to do when they see this kata is to try to hook the opponent's katana with the blade. If you try to do that though, you tend to miss or get your fingers cut and you can't immediately attack back. So instead, what you need to do is. You need to first try to block the attack with the handle diagonally, as if the kama doesn't have the blade. From there, you don't try to move the blade, but instead, you simply untwist your right hand that you twisted to block and step forward. Without killing the energy, you twist your wrist again to attack. With the katana, the maki techniques need to be performed with both hands. But because of the unique shape of the kama's blade, you can do it with one hand. By the way, there is a lot you need to learn from just this maki technique. So we'll make a separate video explaining it soon. 
So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Katana is, of course, really scary. But this is really scary. 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 So, everyone, if you learned anything new about the Japanese sickle, please hit the like button and also leave us any questions inside the comments. And our goal right now is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. If you help us achieve this goal, we'll be able to do so much more in the future, possibly doing more videos, selling merchandise, or even visiting your country and city to do seminars. As I mentioned, it'd be great if you can help us out by sharing this video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much.